sure feels different coming in here this way instead of, instead of the ways that I came before. In St. Martin Parish Correctional Center recently announced a new live streaming church project. As News 10's Dawson D'Amico reports, the project hopes to help in the rehabilitation process of inmates. I was incarcerated 2000, uh, 2012 to 2013. The last time I got incarcerated, I called my sister and I just I just told her on the phone. I said, listen, I said, uh, don't get me out. And then she started crying and she was she was like, I'm getting you out. And I said, don't get me out. I'm going to die. I need to I need to stay here. I need to take care of all these charges. I had charges in four different parishes and uh, I was looking at all that time. And um, in my spirit, I heard the, I literally heard the Lord go get to know me while you here. I got a, the the the, the uh, jail gives Bibles out here, and I started reading my Word, and everything started transforming and changing for me, you know. And I and then while I was here, I started serving. Started serving here. I was started uh, teaching Bible studies while I was here in the jail, and uh, my life got changed, you know. Um, I met Michelle Aranza. She uh, started inviting me to her home and I, I would do her and her kids there. And she would always invite me to church. And every time she would invite me, I'd be like, I don't really want to go, not right now, you know. And then I would go back and then she would invite me again. She told me after a period of time of going there, she told me, she said, uh, one day you're going to come to the church. She said, tap me on the shoulder and let me know you're here. And when I did, she was so happy to see me. She just started smiling and hugging me. And then I started serving at the church. Um, I met the warden in the hair salon, which is really, really crazy. She was in the hair salon. I didn't know who she was. She had a sheriff shirt on. And I went up to her and, um, and I just started talking to her. And I was like, look, I got rescued at the jail. I said, yeah, I was arrested, but I was rescued over there. And I said, these people saved my life. And uh, she was like, wow. And then she sat up and she said, well, I need you to come to the jail. All the church had told me before, look, it's going to be a long time before you can go into jails or any kind of prison ministry. I, I just, uh, I told her, I said, I can't, I'm on parole. And she said, well, I'm the warden. And she said, I can do anything I want to do. And I kind of freaked out. And I called, I called pastors and I was like, listen, I said, uh, I just got an offer to go to the jail. So I started coming and um, been coming ever since. So it's like seven years now. So. Y'all ready? Come on, y'all. Hey, we get to do this. Come on, y'all. Uh, one of the things I talked to Pastor Jacob was about, I said, I would really like for them to have an opportunity, everyone in the jail that better go to church. You know, and Pastor Jacob was like, Let's, what does that look like? You know, what does that look like? I said, somehow, if we can get it on the TVs, so that in every pod, they would have an opportunity to be able to go to the church, you know? Because of the generosity of the church, because of the heart for Michelle Aranza and, and Jacob Aranza, we're able to go into multiple facilities. Welcome all those watching online. We're so grateful that you decided to tune in with us this morning. I'm gonna give a special shout out to those of you watching from the Lafayette, New Iberia, and St. Martin Parish Correctional Center. Can you welcome those watching? You guys are a part of this church family. So honored that you're tuning in with us today. Whenever we trust God with our lives, we get peace. How do we trust somebody we got to get to know them, right? You got to get to know a person to be able to trust them, right? Well, so what we're doing here, we're getting to know God while we're here. Come Thank you, Our Savior's Church, for the giving and, and uh, how you support this, uh, this ministry and all the other ministries and how you guys are helping change lives over here. You know what was interesting? I was arrested in all those parishes that we actually have live streaming in. That's crazy.